Hey y'all, it's Anime Cam, and today I'm going to be reviewing episode 3 of One Punch Man Season 2. And I gotta say, this season just keeps on improving itself each and every darn episode, because like how on this one, we finally get to see JC's staff show off, show out even more some pretty nice quality, because while it doesn't stack up to the best of what one of uh, Madhouse's work, it's pretty darn close, I gotta say, because the battle sequences where Garo's taking on Tank Top Master looked pretty great, and then the sequences where he was spinning in the air looked pretty good, and then the sequences where he's fighting against the A-Class heroes in the later part of the episode looked pretty darn good. So, I gotta give praise to the JC staff, anim the JC, um, staff animation staff. They're doing a great job in handling such a heavy workload this early into the show and I like that they're surpassing my expectations so gotta give it props on the animation standpoint and what they are because they are also look good too now in regards to other things I like how this episode finally pretty much gives off some kind of emotional connection at the very least in regards to Garo because I like how they mention how he used to be one of Silver Fang's former students in the past. And I found that relatively interesting because for one, it pretty much explains that this dude, it pretty much explains how he got his power and all that and why he's so good at fighting for one. So that when he fights, it doesn't feel like necessarily an ass pull. So I like how the anime covered that base. And two, it gives you some emotional stakes because now that this is a character that one of the S-Class heroes knows, at the very least, this isn't just some random villain wreaking havoc. No, it's someone with an emotional connection to someone in this series. And I like that. It's going to make this show even more interesting. So, got to give it praise for that. And two, I like how this episode from a character standpoint also shows up more of Garo's epicness. When he just takes out the S-Class hero, then he takes out these two pretty strong A-Class heroes. And I like how it shows you that he isn't pitch perfect either because he receives some hits here and there. Making these fights have much more intensity than if you were to just beat them easily. Then they'd be like, yeah, this is just the one side to beat them. But no, like, Goro has to actually work for his wins, at least in this specific episode. So that's what I also like about this episode. It made the fight scenes invigorating from a story standpoint. And I also like how from a story standpoint it shows again more of the weaknesses of the Heroes Association. Because in this magazine they list off of us the special moves of the heroes and the Hero Association. And that's what I also like about this episode too. Because for one, it would kind of feel realistic how in... Because in real life, if there are superheroes... There were probably journalists or people or witnesses at least observing Cyril's fight, and eventually some of them would get a grasp of special abilities of the heroes or any special moves. So I kind of like that. I mean, it gives it a much more grounded tone. And aside from that, what I also like about this episode, and sorry, I thought the camera shut, shut off, and what I also like about this episode was. I also like how we get to see a bit of Garo's moral system because he literally asked this boy if he was a hero and the boy's like, nah, he's not athletic enough for it. And then you see Garo say, good. I like how this scene pretty much tells you at least a good amount of Garo. For one, he ain't the guy that's going to willingly hurt kids. But if there were heroes, like kids in, that were like of hero A, um, I mean, that were of the hero class, then he would lay the smack down into them. At least that's what I like about this episode. We get to get more glimpses of his character too. And it shows off more of Garo's personality and just subtle little sequences like that. So that was also another nice thing about this episode. Hopefully they get to venture into why he um, is fighting all these heroes. Hopefully maybe later on. But so far I find him to be a fascinating villain. And aside from it doing pretty well from a story standpoint, I thought I did pretty nice from a character standpoint. Like he had some nice comedic moments here and there. Like when Saitama's point on a wig and Geno's wanted to uh, call the um, his, the scientist that he talks to usually so he can give Saitama an implant and Saitama doesn't want to have any of that shit. That was pretty hilarious. 
And what I also like about this episode was there was also another hilarious scene where you fucking, where Garo tries to be all a badass and he tries to smack down Saitama. Saitama just takes him down with just a simple little fucking karate chop with like little effort. And the only thought Garo was a little petty thief, making the episode again much, much more funnier in some instances. So I like how this episode still has characters um, interacting hilariously, but at the same time, when it gets serious, it gets serious. And that's what I love about this episode. Just one punch man at its finest. And I'd say the voice performances were still great as always. And taking all these factors into consideration, I'm gonna rate this episode a nine out of 10. I thought it was pretty nicely packed with action and comedy and I cannot wait for more. So anyways, guys and guys, this is my thoughts on One Punch Man Season 2, Episode 3. Comment out your thoughts in the comments below. Rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you subscribe for more, alright? Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.